Hi everyone, it is Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. So here is another Simply Gilded subscription box. This is for the month of January. So today currently is February 10th. I was supposed to receive this yesterday, which was Tuesday, and for some reason my mailman said it was on the way and then they missed the delivery, so it came today instead. So now this is a, more of a post office thing as opposed to like a shipping thing from Simply Gilded because I'm pretty sure Irene ships out the same week every month following her the showcasing of the product. What happened last time for December was I didn't get my subscription box until the 18th of January and so this is pretty much like a week and a half just over a week I guess early earlier than last time. So I'm going to have the January one right now and then the February one will be coming probably this like the end of the end of March. I can't remember when I have this scheduled for but anyway they're going to be in the same month. So that's why because shipping just took forever for December. This is probably to date so I started getting these subscription boxes in September of last year and this is my favorite one so far. I don't have any of the previous ones. I'm pretty sure I think there was one called the mystical forest and if I'm not mistaken I'm just gonna pull out the washi tape that was in that one. This was one of them. This is like my favorite washi tape so I'm pretty sure that would have been my favorite box if I had received it but I didn't join until September. So now this is my new favorite because these colors just jive with me. I don't know what it is like well I do know it's purple. It's blue and purple and those are my favorite colors and uh, you know a lot of the colors I've been getting in the boxes have been more pink than anything and I like pink too but I'm really a purple blue and green fan so we're going to unbox all of the goodies in the box and I don't keep these I kind of want to keep this one because it's so cute but I might just like cut this out or with the little iridescent stars here so here's a little card that shows all of the products in the box the ruler so when I first saw this ruler on Irene's channel I thought it was like going to be a lot more flimsy but it's actually quite thick so that's nice and I like how it's see-through because I use a metal ruler with a soft back but sometimes it's nice to be able to see where you're placing the ruler so this will be a nice little addition to my supplies. Next are the vellum sticky notes and I misplaced my October box vellum sticky notes I cannot remember where for the life of me I put them unless I did a like put them in a giveaway but I don't think I did so anyway I'm happy to get more because I feel so sad that I lost my other ones these are so cute I like heart but I like the texture actually the texture of the vellum sticky notes and even these these are the little flags I probably won't really use these I think I used to use them when I was studying a lot but now not so much I used to love the arrow ones but you actually get quite a few for each color so that's really nice as well the top one is ink storm cornflower clarity and wisp and they're all um, at a tone of like kind of navy blue then comes the vellum and the acetate sheet this is my favorite color so far I love this so pretty I also liked the October one only because it had the constellations and kind of the same overlay. Oh, it does not smell very nice. So just, just as a heads up, the vellum is really gross, but that is just really pretty. Okay, and then comes the little B6 notebook. So for a while there I was really struggling to determine what I was going to use the B6 notebooks for and you guys I finally figured it out. So I was watching Elena's channel so she's from the Organized Money on YouTube if you want to check her out I will link her channel. She just posted a video about a thing called a learning notebook or a commonplace book and how she described it was just like a notebook that you always keep with you that has everything that you possibly need or inspiration um not so much like a bullet journal and i guess technically for me i was using my bullet journal as that but this is more 
for like inspiration or quotes you pick up or song lyrics or um, especially for content creators I would suggest you go check out her video because she is um, she has everything laid out why you would want one um, but basically just for things that you learn along the way so if you're reading a book and you want to write something down that you want to remember you would put it in here and I think with my bullet journals, because I usually go through about three or four months in every bullet journal, I wouldn't actually keep it around for that long. And plus, it's a bigger book, right? Whereas these are so tiny and small that they work much better. The only difference I would probably do if I were to order some on Amazon would be to get lined ones so it would be easier to write. But I have started in one of my B6 notebooks from Simply Gilded. And I think it's going to be a good thing because I did have the, what, I can't remember which box it came in, but it's the Traveler's Notebook where you can put all of them inside the Traveler's um, cover. So I'm going to use them for that. And I think it's a really cool like idea. So yeah, so go check out Elena's channel because she'll explain exactly what it's all about. So next up we have the stickers. These ah love love so much. These are the bow seals again. Still kind of determining what I'll use them for. The only thing I could think is like a wedding invitations or some kind of letters. But I don't really send snail mail anymore unless I come across like unless I start sending out my own stickers and then use these just as seals or something. I could do that because I do have a lot of them. And then these are the large sheets. So Irene was saying that she got rid of like the daily to-do list and then just added more days of the week. And I love that like, oh, it's so pretty. Do you guys see that? The pretty rose gold um, sparkle. It's just so pretty. Yeah, these are definitely my favorite colors out of all of the sheets. These are the three mini stickers. So you get the mini sheet here and then the date dots as well as the little icons. And then, so I do see the mystery item in with the washi tape. So I'll open up the little bag. So I'm actually collecting quite a few of these bags and I haven't decided what to do with them. If they were long enough, I would keep markers and pens, but like they'd probably hold my highlighters, like my zebra, my zebra mild liners, but I already have a plastic bag for that. And I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. So we will see. And then for the washi tape. Okay. So here is the journaling card that is super pretty, Life Imitates Art. And for the washi tape, I'm just going to quickly unbox it all and then we will be, I will show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, these are so gorgeous. This is the mini add-on that I pay for $6 and they are just beautiful. I love, I, I don't, I'm not sure that I like the heart one so much, but this bow one with the back alcohol color coloring and then this one with the little stars that those two are my favorite the heart ones I'm not so keen on but these two are beautiful here's the one with the larger bow on it I love that holographic color it's so pretty these are the larger bow this is the one that Irene was saying was you could peel them off to be little checklists at first, I didn't like the perforated washi tape, but I'm feeling it more now because I've been using the lists more in my planner lately. So I kind of like it. It does give you one, two, three, four, five, six on each little break off. So that's nice. This one's pretty. It's like just a line with the holographic in between. The simple bow with the line. That one's nice as well. And yeah, these are just really pretty. I love the color. The colors are to die for. Okay, so here's the pen. So again, it was like that oil. I I still can't get over it where she called it oil, oil slicky appearance. I love that. I just, I can't stop thinking about that. That's so funny. 
Um, I'm going to leave the little blue dot on the end on just so it doesn't uh, leak or anything. But that's really pretty. And then the last item is the little surprise item. So it's a jelly roll and it looks like the stardust one. Um, I don't know which. Let's see what color it is. I need some paper so I can write on it. Oh. I'll write on this little paper here, so. Oh yeah, it's like the sparkly blue color. I have a few of these. I can't remember where I got them from, but then I found some later on at Michael's and I do really like how they're sparkly. I should probably use them in my bullet journal or my planner and I just don't, but this is a nice little item. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing and haul. If you did, please give a thumbs up in the dis for the video. If you're new here, I would love if you would consider subscribing. And if you'd like to see more, don't forget to click that bell notification button. And also, if you guys are curious, I have been talking about my website. I do have a blog on my website as well as a huge portfolio of all of my pictures and, and just stuff that if you'd like to check it out, it's www.sandradoll.ca. So go ahead. I do post a blog every Monday at 10 a.m. And that is that. So we'll talk to you guys again next time. Bye now.